what's up welders welcome to another episode of adventures in welding I'm Paul thanks for joining me today we're going to be talking about another simple thing dealing with aluminum TIG welding and that is preventing crater cracks you've all seen them in your aluminum you know you finish up a nice well all of a sudden there's a little hairline crack what causes it how can we prevent it that's what we're going to talk about today. The answers are really simple. I've got a cheat sheet here, preventing cracking in aluminum welds. You can see this is from Lincoln Electric. And it tells us you get crater cracks for three reasons. Aluminum has a high thermal rate of conductivity. Aluminum sucks up heat. That's why it takes significantly more heat to weld an uh, equal thickness piece of aluminum than it does mild steel. The relatively large change in volume when aluminum solidifies. When that liquid aluminum that you've just melted and added your filler to solidifies, the volume changes. It constricts, it contracts, so you need to add more than you're going to need. You need to add the extra. And finally, the third thing is the concave shape of the crater. So how are we going to fix it? Simple. You're going to add more filler material to the end of the weld. Doesn't get much simpler than that. Let me get some gear on and we'll do a couple examples, alright? Alright guys, while I'm getting my gloves on here, we got a piece of 8th inch 6061 aluminum, which is a good weldable grade of aluminum. All grades of aluminum are not weldable. And there's plenty of information available online for you to look up and figure out which grades are weldable, which are not. <clears throat> I'm using a number 17 torch <clears throat> with a stubby gas lens, number 8 cup, 332nd. 2% uh, lanthanated tungsten. I like the lanthanated best on aluminum. And we're going to be using some 4043 filler metal. I've got the AHP Alpha TIG set for a maximum of about 150 amps. So I'm going to start. I'm going to draw a pool, run a little bead, and at the end I'm not going to fill it up and we'll see if we can create ourselves a nice crater crack. Right there you see it in all of its ugly glory, the crater crack. You can see because the material is below the surface, when it cooled because of the thermal contraction, it just pulled itself apart from the center. This is what happens if you don't add enough filler material at the end of your weld. Alright, this time we will fill the crater at the end and prevent any crater cracking. Same metal, same everything, same settings, nothing has changed. Alright, we're getting close to the end here. Now watch, when we come to the end, I shove in more rod to fill the crack and then taper off. Alright.
right, as you look at this one, you see there is no dip below the surface, so there's no crack. Now, I did pop off a little early there, so I left a kind of a divot on top of the end, but there are no crater cracks there because we have positive reinforcement above the surface, and that's really all there is to do in this. <laughs> All right, this is the last thing, and then I'm going to let you go. Because aluminum requires so much heat to melt, and because it's reflecting so much heat back up, and you've got the heat of the torch, you're going to want to keep your rod at a very, very flat angle so that you're almost sliding the rod in underneath of the heat. If your rod and your torch form a 90-degree angle, things are going to go badly for you on aluminum. So keep your rod angle low, folks. That's it. Just a simple uh, little technique when you're dealing with aluminum. Got to add that little bit of extra metal at the end to prevent the crater crack from forming. Generally, I think the rule of thumb is as long as you have reinforcement, you're not going to have a crater crack. But Hey, rules are meant to be broken, right? Anyway, we're over 800 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you that watch my videos and take the time to subscribe and take the time to write in. It means a lot to me. I read them all and I respond to them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Get the hell out of my shop. <laughs>